Hello, Songbird21 here. In this video, I will be showing you how to do fades and dissolves. Fades are when you fade out to black, and dissolves are when you have one video clip dissolving into another. For this, you need to make sure that you have two video tracks, and to add a second video track, you're going to right click over here and click Add Tracks. Make sure that you have nothing in the audio tracks because you don't need a second one right now but you will want to put a number one in the video track box. And since I already did that, I'm going to click cancel. Now you need in this video track, a keyframe control. If you don't see it, and this is what it looks like in the video one track here, so you can see, if you don't see it in video two, do not panic. It's just a weird little glitch with elements nine. Just save your file, go up here, close your file, and then reopen it and this should appear just fine. All right, now we have two clips here. We're going to dissolve one to the next and we're gonna bring this up here. And then we are going to decide how many frames of dissolve we want to have between the two. Now your average dissolve is going to be between about 10 and three frames. Three frames are more for action type edits and 10 frames are more for things like slow love videos or just your basic family videos and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and I want it to be a fairly decently fast dissolve. So I'm going to bring this over and as you can see the little white bar below the video clip there is telling you exactly how many frames it's being moved over so you don't have to sit there and count and perfect. Oops, <laughs> went over one. Okay, so now we have that at six frames. Click on this here, and you're going to click this here. Now, we're going to click on the part that's going to be dissolved, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to add a keyframe. And see how this makes this red? This means you'll need to render it before you can export the file. And the more you need to render, the longer it's going to take. So you always want to keep your effects confined. So we're going to move to the end of where you want to do your dissolve and we're going to add another keyframe. Now, we want this to start out as opaque and have it be transparent by the time it gets to this clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and drag it down so that it makes a diagonal all the way to the corner as far down as you can get it. And then we're going to hit enter and it will render it. Once it's green, it's rendered. And then we hit play and it fades just perfectly into the next clip. Ooh. And that is how you do a dissolve. Now, if you wanted it to just fade out, I'll just move this out of here. You just have nothing under the clip. Render it again and now it fades out to black. And that is how you do dissolves and fades. If you'd like to see a tutorial for Premiere Elements 9 on a subject I haven't covered yet, just send me a message and I'll see what I can do.